everybody, and thank you very much, Dr. Sommer and, and everybody at ZF. I cannot tell you how excited we are to be here, to be able to hold up and show to you the world's first AI self-driving car computer available for the market. I think for those of you who are familiar with NVIDIA, NVIDIA is a technology company. We focus on solving tough problems. And from the first time that I joined NVIDIA in 1995, our investment into different markets is based on belief. There's usually not a business case or business model that says, here's a market that is ready for a certain type of technology. We do things because we are engineers and because we believe that there's a problem that can be solved with a new approach. So from the very first time, that we started investing in GPUs, we realized that the GPU could be used to do very complex computation and achieve breakthroughs in computation. From that, five years ago, a research student at the University of Toronto realized that a GPU could be used to create something called a deep neural network, something that could dramatically improve the accuracy of image recognition and other types of computation that could be applied all over the world to many, many different applications. We are now, five years later, the investment, the vision of artificial intelligence realized in a very powerful processor can now be applied to very complex problems in the world. It is not exaggeration when we now talk about artificial intelligence as a technology that will spark an industrial revolution, much like steam, electricity, and computers did. Artificial intelligence is going to transform everything. It will change your home. It will change your phone. It will change transportation. It is changing factories. It is changing healthcare. It is changing finance. It is changing supply management. And of all of the things, of all of the areas, transportation is next. The problems in society with people killed in car accidents, the lost productivity, caused by traffic jams and lack of time. All of these things are immense business opportunities and immense societal problems that can be addressed with artificial intelligence. But for NVIDIA to develop the technology is not enough. What we need is we need to partner with very strong partners who can take this technology and apply it. They can integrate it. To create a self-driving car is more than just a technology problem of image recognition. It involves the integration of tons of sensors and actuators and the final product of creating a computer that is safe, has very high quality, and to do that last mile where you actually implement it and execute it into society in a form that can be used and can provide benefits to production. So for us, Dr. Summer, it's very satisfying for NVIDIA to be here, for us to see the technology that so many thousands of engineers have uh, worked on, uh, a $2 billion investment from NVIDIA to create this technology, but now in a final form, congratulations on being the world's first AI self-driving computer. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this will really be a game-changing device. It's the first uh, industrial and automotive ready to apply artificial intelligence. So we created that together. Thank you very much uh, for, for your uh, attendance and support. And of course, we are open for your questions. And I would like to ask Mansa also on stage and uh, Chris. So good morning, everybody. You heard the news. I think on some of you it may have worked a little stronger than the first coffee you had today, at least I hope so. My name is Chris Horn, I run the communications unit at ZF. Namtha, thanks for joining us. So we have uh, our three protagonists on stage and of course feel free to ask any questions you may have. I'd very much welcome if you would use the microphone that we have somewhere here. Where is it? Right there. And uh, quickly introduce yourself if you have a question. Uh, tell us uh, which outlet is yours. So there we go. First question over here. Uh, please, uh, our German guests also, please ask them in English as we don't have a translator. No problem. It's all in English as he spoke in English. My name is Alfred Bollner. I'm from Automobile Electronic in Germany. And I'd like to know by which time you expect the new product to be on the market. When will be the SOP? 
So this uh, depends very much on whether it's in uh, industry technology. I expect it uh, much earlier, but we think that we can go to serious production in an application in 2018 with this device. Um, and uh, the design is almost finished by the end of, of, of this year. There's another one over here. Please. Hi, Sam of Wall Samet from Navigant Research. Um, which NVIDIA processors are you using in the, the Pro AI platform? Uh, and I take it, as I understand it, uh, this is a, a ZF ECU that's incorporating NVIDIA technology into it for various applications. Okay. Um, uh, the processor that we're using there is, uh, is a Tegra processor, which we call Parker. Uh, this is uh, our current uh, highest performance uh, SOC. So the SOC incorporates uh, six very powerful CPUs. Uh, it includes our next generation Pascal GPU with modified architecture to accelerate deep learning and then uh, a lot of other functions. So the, the, the answer to your question is it's uh, the Parker processor. That's, that's within the PX2, the Drive PX2. Correct, that's right. It's, it's the PX, Drive PX2 technology. More questions? One over here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Alexis Chastain with Built World. And I was wondering if you're going to also have this in your construction vehicles. Construction vehicles. Is it yes, going yes, to be in yeah, for sure. Yes, um, I think this can be applied everywhere in the industry where we need artificial intelligence. It's scalable. Um, and I think also in the, whether it's mining situations and construction with machineries, whether it's big wheel loaders or whether it's uh, in agriculture, we, we see any, even early applications because we have close environments um, and, and, and really uh, controlled environments. So uh, it's uh, uh, one of the uh, big industries where we're seeing that there will be real benefit uh, coming to with artificial intelligence and really changes this uh, industry in this regard. Thank you. One more back there. Hi, Christoph Strömer, about the facts. Um, how does this relate to the announcement that was made together with Audi last year? Unfortunately, they're not here this year, so we can't ask them. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, sorry, which, which announcement? Um, the announcement that was made last year here uh, for uh, the um, graphic. Uh, yeah, for the graphics application um, for the Audi display and um, uh, scanning units. Um, I'm, 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 spe I'm speculating that you may be referring to the announcement Audi made, I think it was two years ago, about the um, uh, ZFast, the ZFast controller. So, um, uh, so I, I can't say anything more than, than uh, what Audi mentioned at their uh, press conference, but uh, um, um, NVIDIA technology, NVIDIA hardware and software is used in the ZFast product. It was announced at CES, I believe it was two years ago. Um, and then uh, our, our technology is being used for uh, sensor fusion and a number of other different automated piloted driving uh, functionality. And that was using a processor called Tegra K1, which is a, a technology that we implemented at that time. Okay, another one here. Hi, Ian Richards, Strategy Analytics. Is this effectively a commercialization of the Drive PX2? And, and if so, is there any exclusivity with ZF, or are we going to see similar modules popping up from other tier ones? No. Oh, you We're not going for, for exclusivity. We just want to uh, make this technology ready for application in our industry, uh, in our modern driving in the seat think and act environment. And this is a very powerful technology uh, to, to make us as an F system capable. Um, and of course, our main contribution is intelligent mechanics, uh, also sensor technologies. Uh, and uh, this is the scalable technologies which we are seeing ready for application, easy to apply in a lot of industrial and automotive applications. Yeah. And if I could just add, um, so this is the, the first implementation of a drive PX2 technology into a product that is available 
for automakers around the world. So that is a, that is a first. I think being first doesn't hurt. We have a, another mention here. Tom Murphy at uh, Ward's Auto. Um, two questions for you. First, um, when will the, the X2 safe product be in the market? Um, and then the second one is, could you have done this with or without the TRW integration, or did you need this electronic, you know, for this partnership with NVIDIA, did you need the electronics expertise that you got with the TRW um, acquisition? Of course, we, we, we gained a lot of know-how from the TRW acquisitions for the integration for the, uh, for the application of that. This specific one uh, is done in an old electronic uh, entity which is coming from the ZF side. Um, and the first part of your question, X to save, um, is mainly based on, uh, on, on an artificial intelligence created in a ZF tank fabric. This is not coming from TRW. It's a complete new think tank and creative environment. Uh, and how fast this will penetrate uh, depends on how fast we will penetrate the technologies with variables and with smartphones. It's easy to apply. We can easily start from tomorrow on to apply this um, also in cars. And uh, so we are looking for partners and gaining some volume uh, with that. And of course the value is coming um, with the volume of devices being uh, in, 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 in the market. So it's a stepwise approach then. But it's ready for, for application. Uh, there is one in the back. Hi, my name is Bettina Meyer from Automobilproduktion. And I would like to ask, does this partnership mean that you are not 